What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. After we learn how to work with our 3D orthographic view, last video, this time I'm just gonna show you a quick way on creating a perspective view in your model. Okay, so to do that, first thing you need to go to a floor plan. Okay, so we need to go to the floor plan because that is where we are going to place our camera. So we need the camera for us to be able to create our uh, perspective view. So if I go to my elevation view like uh, elevation 4-A, so as you can see we have here several uh, levels. So we have first floor, second floor, and then the roof. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the camera on the first floor. Okay, so I'm going to open the first floor and foundation plan. And then I'm going to place the camera. The camera can be found here. You see, this is the default 3D view, but there's a drop down arrow. So you click that and then you will see here the camera. So let's click the camera and then let us place our camera. So let's say uh, this is where I would like to place it. So take note of this, by the way. So we are creating a perspective view. That's why it's, uh, that's why it's checked. And then the offset here. So that we're going to be the height of the camera from the first floor. So let's say for this one, I'm going to change this to 2000. Okay, from the first floor. So I'm going to place the camera here, pick first point, and then you can pick another point here. And there you go. So there's now your perspective view. So let us now adjust the camera view. And that's it. So if you still want to change the angle of your camera, you can do it here on your camera view. Let me just change the name here. So right click, rename, uh, camera view, or perspective view. And then you want to change the angle, you can click here, the full navigation wheel, click that one. And then you can use the orbit here. There's an orbit option, that one. So you just need to move it to the center and then hold the orbit. And then you can now orbit your model like that. And then you can use the pan. Then you can orbit like that. So it's up to you. Okay, then orbit. All right. And then just close it. So once you're done, and then here you can change the, the uh, detail level and then the visual style. So let's say uh, shaded like that. Okay. So once you're done, if you want, you can hide this uh, crop uh, view or the camera view. So you can click that, right click, and you can select your hide in view elements or you can just simply go to the properties and then hide the craft view, just uncheck like that. So it's now hidden. Okay. So if you do not want to, if you do not want others to touch your camera view or your perspective view, you can always lock it. Okay. Just click this and then save the orientation and lock the view. So by doing that, you will not be able to orbit. You see, when I try to orbit, you see my pointer, it says cannot. Okay, so it is disabled. So you cannot orbit. So it's always like that. Right? Okay, so basically that's how you create a perspective view. So thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.